Hi everyone, it's Laura London. Welcome to another episode of Let's Talk with Laura London. Let's talk Halloween. Let's talk candy. And let's talk candy. Is that scary to you? Does the thought of eating too much cap candy and blowing it make you shake and frightened? I know it does. It did for me for a really, really long time, but today I got I have some tips to help you not OD on candy, not give yourself too much sugar. All right, tip number one, don't shop for Halloween candy until the day of Halloween. I don't care what your kids say, do not bring it in the house if candy is a problem for you. The longer you can keep it out of mind, out of sight, the better you are and the less you're going to eat. Number two, and I think this one is pretty obvious, but to some people, maybe not. They get excited. They want to fill that candy bowl with all sorts of candies that they love. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Buy candy that doesn't tempt you. Things that you are not going to want to eat, okay? There are people out there who will eat the candy you give them. They'll love you for it. Hey, just don't you eat it. Another thing, if you're going out trick-or-treating with your kids, eat a real nice, nutrient-dense, healthy meal before you go trick-or-treating. That way you're going to be less tempted to say, oh, what you get? Let me see your bag. Can I try one of those? And eat too many, many candies. Also, be accountable. You know, it's okay. It's a holiday to enjoy. But say, give yourself a limit. Say, I'm only going to eat two or three pieces of candy tonight. And let it be your favorite, but instead of like eating it or eating it really fast or by yourself, take the time, sit down, and really unwrap that candy. Think how much joy it's going to bring you and enjoy it. Don't eat it with a negative feeling. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this. This is going to make me fat. Oh, I'm bad. Take that, take that attitude and throw it away because you know what you're doing? You're shutting down your digestion as soon as you bring those negative thoughts into your head. So, again, pick some candies that you like, that you're going to enjoy and eat with pleasure. Eat them with people instead of in the closet. And you know what? Keep those wrappers out on the table to, so you know how many you ate. So that's a cute little uh, way, way to track how much candy you're eating. Another way is to drink a lot of water. If we are, we are going to be putting that sugar in our bodies, and you know sugar is really, sugar is evil. Drink a lot of water to help detox that sugar out of your body. Flush it out, get rid of it, and accept that you ate it, enjoy it, and move on. Remember, there's no wagon to fall off. You just keep going, meal after meal after meals. We have to get rid of those being so hard on ourself uh, mentality. Okay, another idea is to hand out something other than candy. Whoa, what an idea. Hand out, you know, if you have a lot of little kids, they love toys, pencils, crayons. There's so many other alternatives that you can hand out. And hey, why not go to Whole Foods? And if you really want to um, hand out candy, get some really healthier candy, if that's a, a better term. Something made with more natural ingredients, less artificial colors artificial sweeteners. So go check it out because there are a lot of options out there. You could even hand out, um, you know, those prepackaged uh, like chips, healthy chips, popcorns, not the popcorn balls that we all used to get and throw away as little kids, but the kind that come in sealed packages. All right, those are some healthy, really quick and easy tips to help you help yourself and not be afraid of candy during Halloween. 
I will check back with you guys soon for more Let's Talk with Laura London. Have a great holiday and let me know how you did. Bye-bye. I'm going to have to turn this thing off. <laughs>